pick somebody right there. What do you think? Do you have any prediction as to what physicians are going to do for the classification of autism? Oh, on the DMS-5? Yeah, yeah. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> I'm sorry. The problem that you've got with um, diagnosing things like autism, Asperger's, dyslexia, and a whole lot of other disorders, it's a behavioral profile. It is not precise. I, it is not precise. Don't get hung up on these labels. What's PDD? Early onset, not quite enough autism symptoms with the big A word on it. You know, because for autism, you have to have speech delay. Asperger's is milder autism with no speech delay. But it's a behavioral profile. The problem with these behavioral profiles is some of it's based on research, but some of it's based on about 10 scientists sitting in a hotel meeting room hashing it out. <laughs> and the thing I'm really disgusted with is I just found out the other day I was reading that they made the doctors sign a non-disclosure agreement on discussing the DMS-5. And I'm very upset about that. Non-disclosure agreements are things that you sign if you're developing the next iPod, you know, for marketing. You know, scientific things should not be subject to non-disclosure agreements. I am very, very upset about that. I, I don't have any idea what they're going to do. They can't talk. They had to sign this, this paper. And I, I can't wait until the day where they get the brain scan machine fast enough where they can put a person in a functional MRI and they can go, okay, this um, language delay is caused by problems where they don't hear the sounds. Like a lot of people on the spectrum, their ears are like a really bad cell phone uh, fading in and out. And then there's others that can't get the, the speech out. And you can see in the network in the brain exactly where the problem is. Then you can aim treatments at it and actually start getting scientific. Because if you look at the genetics in autism, and I'll tell you right now, there's no autism gene. Autism is uh, embedded too far into the genome. It's little tiny variations in the DNA code that are inside a gene. They're not, if you can, what you learn in high school about Mendel, you can think <coughs> about that. This, this genetics is a lot more complicated. And Peter Schatz Murray up in Canada has been looking at 3,000 families crunching a lot of data through the computer and finding that speech delay and things like abnormal gesture are working on different genetics. So what's going to be found is the different genetic uh, abnormalities, but these are very slight abnormalities. Little like extra little pieces of genetic code, the SNFs, which are a single, um, you know, two nucleotide pair that's, uh, you know, that's just reversed. Uh, there's, no, there's not going to be any way to like take the genetics out. Because if you got rid of all the autism and Asperger's, you know, who do you think would have made the first stone spear? <laughs> it wasn't the person yakking around the campfire. That's <laughs>